make us some stuff really quick for the children. And I want you guys to go and check out my podcast, Humble Dane, okay? Every three to six months or so, I will remind you guys and invite you. This is an invitation to my podcast, Humble Dane. Over there, it's a bit more deep content. It really goes into depth. Um, I talk a lot about psychology, spirituality, family issues, um, relationship, business, all sorts of stuff, you know, everything over there. So if you guys are interested in that type of thing, you might want to go over to Humble Dame. That's H-U-M-B-L-E-D-A-M-E. And this is not working. So that's what I get for getting this from the dollar store. Okay. And we talk about, we also talk about holistic health over there as well. You guys know I love my herbs and stuff like that. And I love my little teas and stuff like that. And also pets. If you into uh, your pets, you love your pets. We got holistic health care over there as well. It's just basically talking about life in general. The part of the Humble Dane is actually like a branch off of this Diamond Chronicles here, as well as my other handler's names, because I always want to remind myself that I am just a woman and I am just humble, okay? Nothing special about me other than God. And so we go over there and we talk about different issues to kind of clear up some things, right? Things that we really don't want to face. So I know you guys are like, I am definitely ain't coming over there now. Well, I know the right people will come over there. So, you know, a lot of people listen to it. And I hope that it helps you because it definitely helps me. And I like talking to you guys about psychology. Put a little garlic powder on these things over here. If you don't know, that's one of my passions is psychology and studying the mind, even my own mind. And I'm not a hypocrite. I have taken over 15 years worth of therapy. I love my I love my old therapist. She was integral in helping me to mature. Which I am a late bloomer. Okay. This is a big pot. Okay. Look at this pot. Got a good deal on it. Um, she was integral in helping me to mature. And I'm very grateful for her because I use a lot of her strategies still. One of her books that she, you know, recommended for me to get was called Boundaries. Let me set this over while I watch this dish out. One of her books that she recommended me for me to get was called Boundaries. Is really, really good. And it's something that a lot of us struggle with, especially in the technological age. You know, like back in the day, if you wasn't at home, they had to leave a message. Remember that? You have reached the Smiths. You have reached the Wilsons. You have reached the Tettleberries. I don't know. You have reached the Stevens or you have reached the Steel Coat or whatever. I don't know. You have reached the Gloves. Look, or what did I say? McKissons, McCullough, all of that. You have reached us. And we are not here. Please leave a message at the beep. Beep. And then you'll be like, hey, I'm sorry I missed you. Right? Because they were out living their life. Um, you know, give me a call back or da, da, da. And then you had to wait till you got home to listen to those voice messages. And I think a part of that was able to kind of help us to keep a lot of our independence and a lot of our privacy. Um, so with the undulation of all of this technology here, it's kind of hard to have that. Right? Okay, so with that being said, that, that, that book boundaries will be really good. It's, it's still important for us. Even with people that we just love, that, you know, just love them to pieces. You know, we have to do that with our kids too. You know, lock the door. You know what I'm saying? They're just busting the door when they get older. Hey, boundaries. I'm not going to like the orphan. If, they, if you tell them that you're reading, I'm reading. Don't bother me right now. I'm trying to study. I'm trying to do this or try to paint. Whatever you like to do. I'm doing my little workout or talk to my man's or what, you know what I'm saying, or my women, whatever. So that's one of the books. If you guys are like, I'm not coming over there to that psychology stuff. I ain't got no time for that. I understand. We more so into entertainment. And that's cool. I like to be entertained too. This is just for people who want to go a little deeper. Um, that's one of the books I would recommend you getting as boundaries. It is really, really good. It's something we all struggle with. We get better in some seasons than others, right? I know myself personally, indeed, but it's important to maintain boundaries, right? And to respect other people's boundaries. And if you cross other people's boundaries, just, just apologize. I'm sorry. Right? It never hurts you to be what? Humble. That's why I call myself a humble man. It never hurts you to be humble. You also always will feel better. You notice that humility and humiliation are kind of similar. It's almost the same root word, right? So we don't want to be humiliated or humiliating the people. We want to be humble towards people. So that's one of the ways I'm talking. I'm only a woman, and I am just trying to remain humble. Washing these dishes up, too. That's a humble way, right? 
clean. I got a good deal on these pots. These are as Capan pots. Okay, ceramic titanium made in Denmark. Very, very good pots. I really like them. And they're really strong. Hear that? That's strong. So, again, go check out Humble Dane. And you can come over there right now. We're in the series. And this is for people. This is the time for you to exit. If you're not really interested in it. Like, I don't like the Bible. I don't want to hear this time. Listen, I understand, okay? You got church hurt, stuff like that. I do not diminish nor invalidate any of your experiences. I've experienced those myself. But I still do love reading the Bible. Am I a model Christian? That, no, okay? I'm going to be real with you. But I do like to read and expand myself and grow and challenge myself to get better with reliance on God. So right now, we are studying the book of Proverbs. And if you don't know, the book of Proverbs is about wisdom. So I've just been opening and humbling myself for wisdom, how to deal with situations, persons, places, and things. It seems boring, and I know it's not entertaining, but it is going to severely, severely help you, okay? Significantly, because we need wisdom at any time, but especially in this time, okay? It shows you how to deal with different personalities, how to do business, how not to be lazy. I mean, it's, so, and it's practical. I know people don't like to read the Bible, and they hear all that thou and but and all of that stuff, but it's a lot of practical advice in the book of Proverbs. So right now, I believe we're on chapter 26 in the book of Proverbs. Just studying, just welcoming wisdom, just listening, um, confessing, and opening ourselves up to, you know, behave and to move wisely and to ask for more wisdom, you know, wisdom that goes beyond us. So you guys are into that. I also have some things over there as far as like narcissists. I know people love that, especially over here on YouTube. Listen, I know about them, okay? Hey, we I think we all do. Narcissists or the dark triad of the personalities, histrionics, borderlines, bipolar. We talk about all of that stuff over there. It's not to uh, stigmatize mental health. It's to learn and understand. And then we also, that's the psychology part. We use the spirituality part of it to know how to kind of behave and deal with such people. And to still show love even while maintaining our what? Okay, very important. It's very important, especially it's very. It's important for your mental health. Again, not just with people that we encounter that are what they call difficult people. It's also important when we're dealing with people that we love. You know, your husband. You know, your husband might, you know, need a man cave. We talk about that over there too. Okay, you know, I want me to be a man. Now I haven't dated in nine years, but we talk about that over there. Like, what should you do? What should we start doing to prepare ourselves? Well, I believe we should start working on not only our outside, because the sister is down 27 pounds. Yes, okay. But also to work on our character. It's important. We want to be somebody that a man could trust. You know, we talk about that. We want to be somebody that's sexy. You know, we want to be somebody that's nurturing. And I believe that you only can get that, the true meaning of it, the true contentment of it. Um, it's through God. So that's what we're going through right now. Check out my podcast, Humble Dame. I hope that you like it. I have tons of content over there that goes in depth. More over there. Um, that's a different side to me. Okay, I don't like to have different avenues and apps with the same content. And then that way, um, share with someone else that you think that would like something like that. If you like, well, my cousin or, you know, my best friend or my man or my, you know, I have a professor or my boss or uh, my neighbor down the street. She always talks about like psychology and spirituality, but you can mix it together because God cares about our mind, body, and our soul. And so that way we could kind of go and talk about some issues that are taboo or my dog, like, and my kids. Oh my God, guys, I got to go. Anyways, we could talk about some issues that are kind of type taboo or uncomfortable to talk about. So it's a smaller platform. It's really, really nice. I love it. Go check out my podcast, Humble Dame. I got to get these kids and peace.